Now, when you're writing any sort of object-oriented code in most languages, you're going to write what's called a class, which I've covered in other videos. But inside of that class, you'll write a bunch of functions or methods, and they'll have a name, they'll have a bracket, and they'll have a closing bracket, and inside of them, there'll be a bunch of code. And you'll have the same for however many functions your application actually needs. Then, when you want to run something, you simply call one of those functions from the object you created from the class. All is well and good, but sometimes you want a function that is not available to these outside sources. So what you do is you mark the function with the private keyword. And then if you do want it to be available to these outside functions, you're going to mark it with the public keyword. Now these two words vary between languages and sometimes you don't even need to write either private or public depending on which language you're using. But they both basically do the same thing. So it's a good idea to look up whatever language you're using and see how these are sort of labeled or defined. So public means that anything outside of this class can access that method, those properties, whatever is inside it marked with public. Anything outside of the class cannot access anything that says private. Private is only for the use of the class itself. Now you might say, why not just make everything public so everything can use it to save us that hassle? Well, if you're working in a team of people or you've made a project that you've passed on to someone else, if they come along from the outside and they start to modify these private things, then your class that relies on that private thing won't necessarily know about that modification. So it's going to cause trouble. You make things private because you don't want anyone or anything else to change them or to access them. You just want the original class to be able to see them. So that's the difference between public and private and why you would use one or the other.